No one talks about this SD card. This is the Kingston Canvas React UHS-2 V90 card and considering its price, it might be the best SD card on the market. Let's talk about it. Welcome in the studio and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Flash and I'm a content creator for almost 8 years now and a few years ago I've decided to upgrade from my main camera and multiple webcam setup to a more professional one and buy a lot of mirrorless cameras and ditch the webcams. So after gathering all the equipment I've realized that my only two SD cards that I had with my Lumix G85 back then weren't enough. At the moment I knew that the GH5 and the GH5S have the UHS-2 compatible card slots and of course I wanted to buy the best SD cards that I can find on the market, knowing that the files will be bigger on the GH5 and the GH5S. And yes, you are correct, I wanted the best speed that I can get from a SD card. And as a SanDisk Extreme Pro user, of course, I have searched for the SanDisk Extreme Pro UHS-2 version of the card. In my mind I knew that they're the best choice because they are very reliable the speeds will be great on the UHS-2 version, but after seeing the price, <laughs> let's say that I got a little bit scared. The price wasn't double, neither triple, but I'm sure it was way, way higher than the UHS-1 version of the card, which by the way I can say that is a budget-friendly option in my region. So of course I've deleted SanDisk from my filters on the online store, and this online store being one that specializes in PC parts and PC equipment mostly, they didn't have so Sony or Angelbird or any other brand that's well known in the camera industry. But guess what? They had the Kingston brand ones and they were almost half of the price of the SanDisk ones. So after putting everything in balance and also knowing that Kingston is a really great company when it comes to PC memory like RAM and to be honest most of the Kingston products are really nice, I came to the conclusion that they're worth a try, so instead of buying only one SanDisk Extreme Pro UHS-2 card, I bought three Kingstons. But why three? I was needing at least two new cards at the moment, and when I saw they're that budget friendly, I have took the best decision. Buy three cards and one UHS-2 card reader from SanDisk, pay a single delivery, unbox only one card, test it as much as I can for 14 days which was the limit for a return, and if they are not good at all, return all of them and get the SanDisk ones. And yes, I could unbox only one card because it's a rule here in my region, if you buy multiple copies of the same product, you cannot return them if they are unboxed, you can unbox only one of them. So after testing it, I was really impressed. The transfer speeds were incredible comparing to the UHS-1 cards that I've already got home. Everything was as it should be. It complies to every standard that it has like UHS-2, V90, Class 10 and so on. And also the most important thing, I've never got an error in the camera. So I've started using all three of them in my GH5, GH5S, GH5 Mark II and now in my latest camera that I I've got the Sony a7 IV, which I'm filming on right now by the way. And since I have them, I've never got any issue with them on any of the cameras and that would be almost 3 years. So why am I making this video? As I said in the intro, no one talks about these cards. I consume a lot of content from creators worldwide and I never seen this card used by any one of them. And after getting the A7 IV and started getting much bigger files than before, I have realized that I need new cards which will need to be bigger, like 128 gig. So yeah, I just ran out of memory. <laughs> and yeah, I was saying about the size and I'm deciding right now between the 128 gig ones and 256. But I think it will be better to have more cards that are 128 gig than less cards which are bigger. And of course, I've searched for the same Kingston Canvas React, the red ones, and they are in stock at the same budget-friendly price on every size option that you choose. And the best thing about them is that the same budget-friendly price is all over the world. And yeah, I think I will order four uh, 128 gig cards, the red ones. Watch out, they also have blue ones which are lower standard or lower performance. This one which is colored red or dark pink is the one you might want to search for if you want to get one of course but trust me you will not be disappointed with them. I'm a youtuber and streamer for almost eight years and trust me the most frustrating thing is losing files or having the files corrupted and the thing I hate the most is recording 
the same video once again because the second time will not be that natural or as good as it is the first time. I know that the Sony cameras are the most popular ones right now, at least on YouTube, and on the a7 IV with the XAVC SI codec on 4K 30p, you will get 26 minutes of recording time with the 64GB card. I assume that on the 128GB one you will double that, and on the 256 one you will multiple that by 4, which should be more than enough. Depends on what are you shooting though. And and this was my experience with the Kingston Canvas React Plus. By the way, it's called React Plus. Okay. So I invite you in the comment section below to tell me if you tested this card and if you liked it. I hope this video was useful and yes, you can find these cards on Amazon US, UK, Europe and I'm pretty sure you can find them not only there but worldwide and of course not only on Amazon. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, happy holidays and see you next time in the studio. Flash out!